Hey ho, I'm the story dog. I'm gonna tell you stories and you will find they blow your mind and make you happy, make you happy. Let's go on an adventure. Maybe we'll go to outer space. Or maybe we, just maybe we, will save the human race. We can go anywhere whatsoever. As long as we're together. As long as we're together. Story Dog. Story Dog. face my delicate precious face no 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 oh, 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 oh. i just had i just had a nightmare oh, i was taking a nap and i had a nightmare story dog uh, are you okay yeah i just had i just had a nightmare i dreamed that ninjas from the sun came down and they were kicking me in the face like this and this and some of this Story dog, there are no ninjas on the sun. How, how do you know? Because it's too hot. Nothing can live on the sun. Nothing? No ninjas on the sun? Nope. Oh, I see. So you understand? Yeah. No ninjas on the sun. The ninjas are coming from Neptune. Oh no, they're going to come down and kick us in the face. Like this, psh, and this, psh, and some of this, psh, and some of that. Psh. <laughs> you know what I do when I have nightmares? What? <laughs> I think positive thoughts. Really? Like what? Like ice cream, <gasps> going to the park, <gasps> potato chips. <gasps> wow, those are positive thoughts. So wait, are you saying that you think positive thoughts to help stop having negative thoughts? Yes. <gasps> oh, I get it. So just think positive thoughts, Story Dog, and it'll make a big difference. Okay, thank you. Welcome. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Wow. So, thinking positive thoughts helps when you're feeling negative. Oh, hi. I didn't see you there. Hey, do you know what positive means? P -p positive That means good things, like ice cream and going to the park and potato chips, but negative, n n negative well, that means bad things like nightmares and quicksand and long lines for the bathroom and potato chip bags that look so full until you open them and they're already half empty. I mean, who does that? That's pretty negative. And guess what? Today's show is brought to you by the letter N and the letter P. The letter N sounds like N, as in N, N, negative. And the letter P sounds like P, 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 as in the word positive. So now that I'm awake from my N, N, nap, I'm going to go find my best friend, Faith. And we're going to try to figure out something fun to do with the letters N and P. Want to come with me? Let's go. Hi, Faith. Hello. You're my best friend. <laughs> yeah. You know what I wish we could do right now? What? Since we're learning about the letters N and P, I wish we could make some nifty puppets. Yes. Yes. A good idea. Good idea. That would be so fun. That would be Craftastic fun. <gasps> Who's that? Yeah. Should we go check? Yes. Let's do it. <laughs> wow. What is it? Bag. It's a bag. Well, howdy do da. It's a talking bag? It is. No, I'm a talking dilly dally. What's a talking dilly-dally? Well, that's me, of course. One second. I'm 
a talking dilly dally. And did I hear someone say craftastic fun? <gasps> that's exactly what I said. Well, that's what I'm here for. <gasps> How did we get here? I heard you guys wanted to make n n nifty p p puppets. So I thought we could make some puppet pigs. <gasps> I love pigs. Plumpy pigs, picking peaches, stuff like that. Let's go. P -p Perfect. We're going to make puppet pigs out of fluffy socks. See? Like this. The first thing we're going to need is eyes. Safety warning, we're going to be using hot glue, so make sure you do this with a grown-up. There. And another one? Right here. Now we'll glue on the eyes. Big that is, like that, and like, like that. All right, let's see everybody's noses. This is my nose. This is my nose. And that's my nose. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hi. How are you? I'm good. It's fun playing with puppets. Gonna do my eyes. Hey, I'm gonna do a, I'm gonna do a Cyclops pig. Yeah, this could be great. Do do do, do do do, Cyclops pig. Big old beefy arms. Cyclops pig, Cyclops pig with big beefy arms. Now we're gonna glue the mouth in. Make sure you glue all the way to the edges so that they don't stick out. And here's my Cyclops pig so far. Got the big beefy arms, that's important. Got the big mouth, that's really important too. Got the Batman ears, can't do without those. Yeah, he's pretty much perfect. Hey, we're all done. Here's my puppet. My puppet. And here's my puppet, the Cyclops pig with the beefy arms. <laughs> hey, now that we have our three little pig puppets, let's do a fairy tale puppet show. That sounds great. What fairy tale should we do with three little pigs? Well, the three little pigs, of course. Oh, well, that's not what I would have gone with. But OK, let's do that. Okay, let's go. The three little pigs. Little pig, little pig, let me in. The Cyclops pig, with his big, beefy arms, sits alone in his house made of straw. And he knows exactly what to say when the wolf comes knocking. My grandma, what big teeth you have! Wait, where did you get that cape? And that's a completely different fairy tale. Oh, whoopsie. Uh, let's just skip to the next house. Little pig, little pig, let me in. Hi, Faith. Oh, hi! This is your wooden house, eh? Yeah! Well, there's a wolf at the door, and luckily, Cyclops Pig knows exactly what to say. Oh, 
Well, the first porridge was too hot, and the second porridge was too cold, and the last porridge was just right. Wait, where did the wick come from? And, and that's a different fairy tale too. Really? This is the wrong fairy tale? Hmm, I guess they all kind of blend together, don't they? Not really, but let's just skip to the last house. Little pig, little pig, let me in. You've got to be kidding me. The wolf again? But now Cyclops Pig with his beefy arms is in a house made of bricks and he knows exactly what to say. Then I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your house down. <laughs> Hmm. Something tells me this might have been a mistake. Man, that was my big moment. Not cool. Wow, sorry, my fellow plumpy pigs. I guess I... Wait, what is that? It sounds like a phone. Oh, that's me. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, uh-huh. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'll be there. Okay, bye-bye. Sorry, guys, I have to go. My Auntie Poppins is flying in for dinner. But this was craftastic fun. See you next time. And there goes Dilly Dally, back into the wonderful world she came from. And there goes Faith, too. Well, I guess it's just you and me now. Yep, just you and me. Boy, playing with puppets sure is fun. You should try it sometime, Cyclops Pig. I'd love to. Why not now? Now? Do you have a puppet right now? Sure do. Here he is. Hi, I'm Mr. Wolfie McWolfington. Hi, Mr. Wolfie McWolfington. Hi. Wow, that's great. You have a puppet, too. Sure is. That's amazing. Well, I gotta let you guys go now, okay? Okay, okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> the Three Little Pigs. What an amazing fairy tale. You know, it's about overcoming n -n negative things by being p -p positive together. That's right. When we work together, we can do amazing things. And that reminds me of a story. I want to tell you an amazing story about a woman who wrote 12 books and traveled the whole world giving speeches to giant crowds. She's one of the most powerful people of all time. And let me tell you, she experienced a lot of negative things in her life, but she stayed positive through it all. You see, she grew up with four brothers in a nice home. She was such a sweet little girl and the only girl in the family. But one day, before she was two years old, this sweet little girl got sick. Very sick. She was so sick, they didn't know what to do. And then her eyes stopped working and her whole world went dark. Her family was so sad. Their little girl was blind. But that wasn't the only negative thing that happened. The sickness was so bad, it also made her ears stop working. That's right, she was blind. Can you imagine that? She couldn't see or hear anything for the rest of her life. And maybe you already know her name. She was Helen Keller. When Helen Keller was a little girl, deaf and blind, no one knew how to teach her anything. She didn't have any friends, so she became wild. She couldn't even talk. 
and she didn't know many words to even think in her mind. She had nothing. But her parents stayed positive. They found a teacher named Anne Sullivan who was willing to try and help. It took Anne Sullivan a long time, but she finally figured out how to teach that lost little girl. And for Helen, it was like the light of the sun shining into her darkness. And from that day, Helen Keller gave her whole heart to education, to learning and growing until she was writing books and traveling the world and talking to kings and queens. You know, she was the first deaf and blind person to graduate from college ever. And later on, she started an organization that helped people not become blind. And they're still helping millions of people in 22 different countries right now. Can you imagine how many people she saved from going blind because of her own blindness? Helen Keller. She had some of the worst negative things happen to her, but she became one of the most positive people in the world, and she changed the world because of it. So I hope you and I can be like Helen Keller. Let's learn all we can and stay positive. Let's be lights that shine brightly in the darkness. Sneaky sneaking in your head Do you go sleep with mommy? Or be so brave and strong instead? Hmm. Decisions? Decisions. What if ninjas from Neptune Come down and kick you in the face. What if nasalin our whales start to narrate from outer space? What if neglected night lights they never blow for you again? What if neurotic noodles? Decide to nibble you instead. So much to be nervous about. How do I overcome the n n negatives? Wait, I remember. I have to be p p positive. I need to think pleasant thoughts. Yeah, that's it. I'll picture playful penguins. Performing a new puppet show For a pretty prince and princess At the perfect palace in the snow A pack of plumpy piglets All picking peaches in Peru And proper peacocks painting Some happy patterns on their Eleven pipers piping A tasty pastry just for me And pandas riding ponies In a parade also for me And polar bears are planting Plentiful fields of evergreens And people and piranhas Together in a march for peace. Wow, I feel so much better. <sighs> and rhyming makes me sleepy. Uh, where was I? And pandas riding ponies in a parade also for me. Okay. <laughs> 
Well, that's the end of the show. And now it's time to go. We'll be back before you know it. Lickety split. I'm so glad to see you today and that we got to learn about being positive together. That was awesome. We'll see you next week. And remember, next week is Mother's Day. So we'll have a special show just for mothers. Okay, see you soon. And remember, you're special. You're the only you, and I'm the only me. Bye-bye. Wow, that was so much fun. You know I cannot wait for you to come over again, my very special friend. Don't be gone too long, no. Please come back soon. You know that I'll be waiting, waiting for you. We'll go on an adventure that's made of dreams. Cause you're the only you and I'm the only me. See you soon, my friend. My very special friend. Hey. Little pig, little pig, let me in. No, 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 you're my kitchen. Or I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down. Yes, my house. Little pig, little pig, let me in. No, 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 you're my kitchen. Or I'll huff, and I'll puff. And I'll blow your house down. Yes, I'm not breaking. <gasps> oh, uh -huh. I'll blow your house down. Do it. Yes, I got it. Yay! <laughs> Is that, I guess that's it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a that far. Nice job, baby. Yes, they're not breaking. Or <laughs> they're not breaking stuff. That was awesome. Good job. Yeah, breaking. Yeah, don't break. Yeah, don't break. <laughs>